Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to Windows 10 Power Menu. Once again, a repeated topic, introduction to Windows 10 Power Menu. So what is Windows 10 Power Menu? So Windows 10 Power Menu allows the user to use sleep, hibernate, shut down, and restore the PC. So what Windows 10 Power Menu provides us, Windows 10 Power Menu provides us to use sleep, hibernate, shut down, or restart the PC. And we are going to see one by one. So let me start with sleep mode. So what is a sleep mode? A sleep mode can also be called as standby, suspend, or suspend to run. So it will be having the different name. What are they? It's a standby mode. So sleep mode can also be called as standby, suspend, or suspend to run. So sleep mode is having different names, namely standby, suspend, or suspend to run. Why it is called a suspend to RAM? We are going to store all the information in RAM and we are going to shut down other things. Sleep mode is a minimum power mode for electronic devices such as desktop, laptop, televisions, and remote control devices. So what is a sleep mode? It's a minimum power mode for any electronic devices. So like desktop or laptop, it may be a television or a remote control devices. So when you put the device in a sleep mode, it will be using a minimum power mode or entering the power save mode. Sleep mode is a power saving mode that is similar to passing and video. If you are watching a video, if you put the video in pass, and then you can resume it back where you stopped. In the same way, if you put a uh, little bit back from the point where you stopped. So the hard disk and monitors are turned off and RAM chips are frequently refreshed in order to keep the current content. So all this monitor, everything will be turned off, but RAM will be refreshed periodically. Why? To keep the current content. So that is why it is called a suspend to RAM. It all other activities will be cancelled or suspend, and the current information will be saved in RAM. A computer quickly wakes up from sleep mode by touching any key or clicking the mouse or pressing the power button. The computer quickly restores for use when the user touches any key. So when you user touch any key, it will be resumed back very immediately or promptly. The computer physically stays on but logically uses a bit of power. It means that when you look on the computer, it seems to be shut down, but actually it will be using a bit of power. Why? Because it has to save all the information in RAM. The sleep mode is basically called a standby mode and full power operation will be resumed back within a fraction of a second. If you put your device in sleep mode, so we can resume it back in a fraction of a second by touching any keys. Next is Hibernate. So Hibernate or Suspend to Disk, this mode is very similar to Sleep. So Hibernate and Sleep are more or less similar. So what is the difference between Hibernate and Sleep? Sleep will hold all the current running information in RAM, but Hibernate it will save all current running information hard disk and shut down the computer. Hibernate uses zero power, but Sleep mode uses a minimum power. That is the difference between Hibernate and Sleep. Hibernate save all open documents and current running application to your hard disk and allows your computer to shut down entirely uses zero power. So what it will do, when you click on Hibernate, it will save all your open documents or current running documents to the hard disk and it will shut down the computer. Hibernate freezes all current running activities and store it on hard, hard disk or hard drive. Once the computer is switched on, the Hibernate will resume everything by left off. So the Hibernate frees all current running activities and store it on hard drive. Once computer is switched on, Hibernate will resume everything where you left off. So when you click on Hibernate, it will freeze all the things, means it will store all the things in hard drive and it will switch off the computer. When computer is turned back again or switch on again, the Hibernate will resume everything from where you left off. From which point you may Hibernate from that point, the system will be restored or recovered. And moving on to shutdown. Shutdown is used to close all current running softwares and turn off a computer power. So when you want to shut down the computer, means you want to stop the computer, you want to use the option called as shutdown. Shutdown is a process of closing programs and operating systems and ensure that no data is lost. It's a formal way of closing a system, right? It ensures all the process has been closed and all the data has been saved and it will initiate the shutdown process. Shutdown closes all concerning program execution and finally ended by turning off the main power supply. Right, so it's a formal way. Uh, shutdown shuts the software and hardware in a formal way. So it will check all concerning 
information and it will save it and then it will shut down the hardware. And next, moving to restart. So, rebooting is a process of restarting a computer system, either intentionally or unintentionally. Right? If you want to restart a computer intentionally or unintentionally, you want to use the option called as restart. Okay, so restart initiates shutdown process and shut all current running apps and operating system. Finally, it will initiate booting process once again. So, what is the difference between shutdown and restart? Shutdown will shut down the power, but restart will close all the operating system and programs but the hardware will be supplied by power difference between the restart and shadow in case of shadow it will close all controlling operations or activities and then it will shut down the hardware but in case of restart it will shut down all controlling programs and operating system but hardware will not be closed okay the power supply to the hardware will not be closed it remains and then again it will initiate the booting process. There is a difference between restart and shutdown. So restart is a process of sh sh shutting. So least so so restart is the so the least so restart is a process of shutting down or powering off the computer temporarily and starting it again. It is necessary for tasks such as installing update and installing new software to the computer. So when we want to use the restart, if you are installing update and if you are installing a new software, you want to shut down your computer and restart. The operating system. So restart is nothing but just shadowing the programs and operating system, not the hardware. Okay, power will be there. Okay, so and then we will once again initiate the boot process. That is a booting process of a computer. Okay, there are two types of booting, so the namely cold boot, or is called as hard boot, and warm boot can be called as soft boot. So what is a cold boot and warm boot? So what is a cold boot and warm boot? So reboot can be either cold boot, alternatively known as hard, hard boot. So the power is turned off physically and switch it on physically. If you turn the power off physically and switch it on physically, it is called as cold boot, which initiates the boot mechanism. Warm boot refers to the boot process in which a system regains its initial state without stopping the power source using software. Right. So warm boot, if you restart, if you use the option restart from the power menu, it is called as a warm boot. So cold boot reset the hardware and clear the temporary memory, usually then when system doesn't respond to warm boot. So when we will use the cold boot, if there is a problem in your system, it is not responding, during that time we will physically switch it off and we will physically switch it on back. It is called as a cold boot. So cold boot or a hot boot is initiated by pressing the power button in the system unit physically. So that's all about cold boot and hot boot. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.